Welcome to a D-Link bite-sized video all on online safety. I'm Sophie Morrow, I'm the head of PR at D-Link and this is Alan Jones. Hi, I'm the marketing manager here for the um, UK High region. Um, as Sophie said, we're going to be talking about uh, parental controls. We are. What is absolutely crazy is that apparently nearly 25% of parents didn't even know they could do anything with parental controls at home on their tech devices. So we really need to find out what you can do to control the safety of your children using online devices. And we're going to start off by talking about scheduling and filtering. Yes, yeah, so um, D-Link routers have inbuilt uh, parental controls into them and um, part of those parental controls the first part is is filtering and mm. um, what filtering allows you to do is filter by type of website um, say for instance um, social media sites you can you can ban social media sites adult sites um, any any site that you deem appropriate for the for the audience. So you know if you're just sick that your your children are on YouTube too much, or they're just um, yeah. on a on a channel that they you don't think is very appropriate, you can just load up the app, go to their IP or their router settings. You can yes, this is where scheduling comes in. So right, if we, if we okay. move on to the scheduling part now, okay. So you can schedule by device. Right. Um, so say for instance you have a a TV. Um, in, in, in the children's bedroom, you can set a profile up for that device so that it can't use the, the Wi-Fi after 9 p.m. Ah, that's brilliant. Or you can set it up by profile. So okay. say, for instance, you have a son who is older than your daughter, um, you can give the, your son more access than, than, than your daughter to the different that's... sites. Or the other thing about scheduling as well, you can just make a generic rule. So say, for instance, um, your children come home from work and uh, school and five to seven is homework time. Yeah. Between the hours of five to seven, you can block social media. Yeah, that's so, brilliant. So they can access the internet, but they can't get on to Facebook, YouTube, and, and, and other sites like that. I'm assuming at the moment, most people are going and blocking sites via their computers that the, the, or the, on the actual devices, sorry, that their children are using. It's a lot. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more work, and, and doing yeah. it at the, the the top level. So the router, the gateway to your network, doing it at that level is uh, better. That, that that that's better, and it also allows you more flexibility. Yeah. In, in, in and around it, so for each person, because if you do it by device, then that is that device is set for everybody who uses that device. Okay. So for a laptop, if there's a family laptop, and and you set that laptop can't access YouTube, then it doesn't matter whether it's yourself or your children using the laptop. You, you just can't use YouTube at all. Okay, brilliant. So, so what I would recommend, folks, is that mm. you should get your app up that controls your router, mm. go into the settings and have a play around and have a look at all the different things that you can do with regards to your parental controls. Yep. And because there is an answer to all this nightmare, of, you know, searching and, and streaming and, and it can be stopped and I highly advise it. So um, it's really quite easy if, when yeah. you know how. There's um, there's a tutorial on our, on our YouTube channel. Okay, brilliant. Um, if you click the, the card um, that will probably be appearing above my head or above Sophie said it in the video, shows you how to set up parental controls on the Eagle Pro or the Aquila Pro systems. Brilliant. And the the, the whole thing is, is a minute long video, so it's a, it's a very simple, simple process. Or you can just get in contact with Dealing Technical and I'm sure somebody would be happy to talk you through it. We're, we're, we're here to help. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.